Hey Megan here, thank you so much for tuning in to today's YouTube video. So this is the very first video on this YouTube channel. Again, I'm so excited that you are watching this right now. I am going to be making some videos on how to create some digital products to sell on Etsy. I started an Etsy shop in April of this year, so April of 2020, and Within like the first day or two, I already had a few sales. Um, so I just want to show you guys that it's not difficult to start an Etsy shop if you've been thinking about doing so for a while. Um, at this point, it's pretty passive. I do put a few new listings up um, a couple times a month. So other than that, it's very passive at this point. So I am going to show you guys today how I make some quotes for Instagram. If you guys are interested in learning more about making products like this to sell on Etsy or on your blog, website, etc., then definitely subscribe to this channel because I will be making some more videos like this in the future. So we will go ahead and get started. I already have my Etsy shop pulled up on Chrome. So here's my Etsy shop. That's me and my husband right here. Um, this is what my shop looks like. Again, I've only been on here for a few months, but um, it's been a very good, you know, little side thing. It keeps me busy and I enjoy being creative. So there's that. This is uh, all of the listings. These are all of the listings on my shop. I'm sorry, my brain isn't functioning. 100% today, so just bear with me. This is the most popular listing right now on my site as of right now. Um, basically, I make social media and printable designs for entrepreneurs. So I make some pre-made Instagram templates. I make some Instagram highlight covers. I do some mock-up photos like this that you can uh, purchase and print out as well. But today I'm going to be showing you guys how I do these Instagram quotes. So let's go over here to the quotes and I will click on this one. I already have this motivational Instagram quote listing up on this page. This was my very first listing. I have updated these listing photos, but I'll go over that in another, um, in another video soon because I know this is kind of overwhelming right now. So... To make quotes like this, I use Canva. I have Canva pulled up right here in this tab. So Canva is like a digital design website. You don't have to pay for Canva. You can sign up completely free of charge using your email address or Google account. I highly, highly, highly recommend using Canva. I can't say enough good things about Canva. I've been using it for about two years now on a couple different projects, but for now I'm focusing on Etsy and making Instagram and Pinterest designs with Canva. So once you get your account set up, or if you already have your account set up, you'll go to this home screen and you can either scroll down to these dimensions right here. So because I already do Instagram stuff all the time, um, the recommended design right here is the Instagram post. I don't know if it'll show up on here if you just created your account. So if it doesn't, no worries. Uh, all you'll need to do to create an Instagram post so we can make this quote is go up here to create a design. And I already had Instagram posts pulled up. But um, all you'll need to do is search for Instagram post. Click the top one. If you click any of these down here, it'll still take you to the Instagram post, but it won't give you a clean slate to work with, just a plain white background. So that's what we want to get to. So just hit Instagram post. It's thinking. Sorry for any technical difficulties. Like I said, this is my first video. This is the first time doing this screen recording. So um, I'm just doing everything as I speak. So once it gets pulled up right here, um, as I said just a minute ago, uh, just hitting Instagram posts will clean, uh, will pull up this plain white square. So to get text on here, you'll go over to the side. There are a lot of different options over here. Um, you can play with this stuff if you're not familiar with it. I won't go into everything right now. 
you'll just need to hit text and I just hit add a heading it doesn't matter if you do a subheading body text or anything like that if you want to you can actually hit one of these so let me delete this um, let's use let's use this one so you can make it bigger you can make it smaller this is grouped together these are two different text boxes grouped together so if you use one of these all of these come grouped together um, you're more than welcome to change the font on these so let's see let's use playlist script for this one and Montserrat for this one so this is what it'll look like again you don't have to use one of these but I just wanted to show you what it would look like if you wanted to use this um, I'll delete that so let's go back to add a heading I like to make mine a little bigger and I'll just type in a cute little quote let's see here make today a great day we always want to make every day a great day right so we'll start from here um, you can always change the font. I don't like to use just a plain font like this. As you can see from this listing, I clearly don't use a plain font. I use lots of different fonts. Um, some of them are bold. Some of them are like cursive-y, cutesy. So on this one, let's use a cutesy little font. So here are some different fonts that I purchased. Um, we won't go into that right now, but all you'll need to do um, when you hit this search bar right here, it comes up with a few different options. So handwriting, corporate, blah, da, da. I like to use calligraphy. Um, there are a lot of nice fonts that you don't have to pay extra for. So like this font right here, Brusher, you don't have to pay extra for it. It's... Um, it's included in the free version of Canva. I pay 12, I think it's $12.99 a month for the pro version of Canva and that comes with these fonts that have the little crowns right here. I won't use these um, right now in this video because I'm not sure if you have a free version or a pro version or if you're just looking at this just because but we will use a font that isn't included with Pro so you can make yours look exactly like this. Let's see. Okay, Playlist Script is a very nice font. It's a very popular font right now. Um, if you hover your cursor over this little text box, um, you'll see this like side to side arrow that just makes everything spread out to one line or you can make, you know, multiple lines I think this looks good right here so let's make it a little bigger there's a lot of space between each line I don't like to leave a ton of space but then again I don't like everything jumbled up either I'm gonna go ahead and tighten everything up so there's not such a big space right here so if you want to do that you'll just come up here to where it says spacing if you move this letter line it spaces out the letters so that's what it'll look like I don't want to do that with this font I like the way it looks automatically so let's go back to zero but like I said I do want to make less of a space between each line so I think that looks good you can play with it though you can make it really big jumbled up together like I said, I like it about right here. It's a little small, uh, so let me make it a little bigger. What I like to do is just drag it corner to corner. So I'll drag this corner up until I see these purple lines right here, and I'll line it up with a purple square. I'll do the same thing with this side. And then I will... Let's see. I'll make sure that it's lined up in the middle. 
and there's your quote. Like I said, if you want to change the font, you'll just highlight this text box, come up here. You can use any of these free fonts if you've got the free version. If you want to pay $12 a month for the pro version, it's a really good thing to have and you have access to a lot of different fonts. You can change the color if you want to. Purple. You can do all kinds of colors. I usually like to stick with black just for the quotes. Black and white, I think that looks good and goes with every Instagram feed. So there's that. If you want to save it to your computer, all you'll need to do is just name it. So test quote. You'll go to download. You can either save it as a PNG file or a JPEG. Um, all you'll need to do to change it to JPEG is just tap on that JPEG download and you're good to go. If you guys have any questions about how to make other Instagram quotes or other Instagram posts, I will be making some more videos. Let me know what you would like to see as far as um, digital downloads go and I will see you guys on the next video. Thank you so much.